Oh, what's going on guys? Ian here. And yeah, you saw the title of the video. I'm doing a review of the Flare Signature Espresso Maker, but I'm doing it a little different. I'm going to be going outside because what's awesome about the Flare is you can take it anywhere. As long as you have access to ground up beans and hot water, you can make coffee anywhere. So that's why I'm going to go outside. Yes, it's like 13 degrees here in Wisconsin, but you know what? It is what it is. So yeah, I'm gonna go outside and go get this set up for you guys. All right, guys, what's up? I'm outside, so yeah. Um, let's get this thing unboxed here. So I've got all the components in here. Flare comes with this awesome case. So yeah, this is great for portability if you're going anywhere. So let's take this stuff out. Get the base out, and this is the part that you put this top piece on. You also have this little um, plate thing to catch any drips that you make. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up my water. So I have um, my electric heater over here, so I'm just going to go put this on there real quick. Alright guys, so while that's going here, I'm just going to set the main body off to the side here. Alright guys, so I'm going to pull out this brew chamber right here. This is where you're going to put the hot water in. And you're going to take your little pressure gauge. And you're going to put it right on top, and this is how we're going to heat, heat up the water in it. And I also have this little tiny cup here. So I'm going to take your little um, water filter right here. I'm going to put the top thing on. And I'm just going to put the coffee inside of here. Please have no spills. Then take this awesome little tamper right here and tamp the beans in. Okay guys, so pretty much what I did there is I just tamped down the beans into this little puck formation right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this little dispersion screen. And I don't know if you can see, but maybe you can't just because it's too close. But you can actually see through this. Like when I look through this, I can see the camera. So I'm just going to put the screen right on the top here. And we're going to go and we're going to go set it on the body of the machine. Boom. There you go. Now you're ready. The only thing we're waiting for right now is to get the water heated up. And I think it's actually done. All right, guys, the water is done. And since I'm outside, you can see all the smoke coming out. So yeah, we're done. And what we're going to do here is going to set the water down. I'm going to grab this really cute little cup. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful or what? But I'm going to take this cup and the brew chamber. I'm just going to set them down right in the edge here. And I'm going to preheat this for around 45 seconds to a minute. And this is at 195 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's the water you want to use to preheat. You can also use boiling, but this is what my kettle does. So yeah, guys, I'm going to wait for 45 seconds to get that preheated. But yeah, guys, um, so here, I'm just going to give you a little angle here. So my station here, water is heating up in there. We got the, the machine with the little dispersion screen on top of the coffee. And this is the cup where I put my stuff. This you can, this little thing you can use to measure the grams of coffee. That's what I use it for. And yeah, guys. So uh, we got about 10 seconds left on the preheat right now. <laughs> the thing that needs preheating are my hands. My hands are are numb right now because it's so cold out. But you know, it's worth it. Get that, get that vlog for you guys here. And yeah, guys, we're just about done preheating. So. Literally as simple as this, you can literally just take this water and just heat it. Okay, ow, that burns, but take this one too, heat it. And yeah, now we're done preheating. I'm gonna set the camera back down. One more thing, guys, now that we're done preheating, hit your water again, make sure that it gets hot again because we're gonna start brewing soon. Brew chamber right back on top here and put the cup, whichever cup you're using, put it right back underneath. And we're literally ready to brew here. And there we go, the water is done preheating. Okay guys, water is done preheating and all we're literally gonna do is we're just gonna pour it into here, right here, the brew chamber, and we're ready to pull some shots. Okay guys, so we got our water in here. We're just gonna put the pressure gauge right on top here, just like that. And yeah, we're gonna start pulling some shots here and I'm gonna get some close-up for you guys so you can see the espresso being pulled here. One more thing guys, you want your extraction time to be around 30 seconds and you're going to do a pre-intusion at a low pressure for 15 seconds. And then we're going to go up to 9 bar for around 30 seconds and yeah, we should be, we should be good guys. Wait for those few, few drops and push down. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Ooh. 
It's looking good, guys. And we just finished pulling our shot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this ball and catch some extra drips. Oh man, guys, this looks great. Yeah, guys, this shot looks beautiful. I'm gonna take a sip. Always swirl your espresso before you try it. So, here we go, guys. Yo! Oh my god, guys, this is so good. This is the best shot I've actually ever pulled. pulled. And yeah, I got on camera, so that's great, guys. It makes a very strong shot. It's great. I love this machine so much. I literally cannot think of any negatives to this machine. It's so good. Oh man, I got to take another sip here. That's so good. So yeah, guys, do I think you should buy one? Heck yeah. These things are great. I think that for the money, you're getting great cafe style espresso. You can make unlimited shots with this thing at your house. So why not get one? I definitely think you guys should get one. They are great. I would definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching this vlog, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys later.